Good morning. My name is Ben Jacobs, and on behalf of the Brookings Institution and the Board of Trustees, I welcome you all here this morning. My specific assignment today is to herald the release of the Brookings Metropolitan Policy Program's new report, Missed Opportunity, Transit and Jobs in Metropolitan America. This first of its kind work represents that subject's most extensive analysis, mapping the transit routes, schedules, demographic data, employment opportunities and information from the nation's 100 top metropolitan regions. From my presumably practical perspective as a developer of commercial, retail, hospitality, and residential properties, I have over the past 48 years come to appreciate the importance of location. Now location, of course, is code for lo locations or places having characteristics which facilitate connecting people to quality employment opportunities uh, by way of, of course, public transit. This is especially important in today's world given fuel prices, public resources declining, continued sprawl, and uneven transit availability throughout metropolitan areas. Since learning of Metro Program's launch of this ambitious project, I've looked forward to attending today's discussion on this important research and its policy impact. Metro's report will have major implications for transit officials at all levels of government, regional employers, private sector investors, housing and social advocates across the country, changing the fundamental dialogue about the connections between jobs and transit accessibility. Before I introduce Metro Program's Director and Brookings Vice President, Bruce Katz, allow me a moment on the Metro Program. Metropolitan Policy Program, one of five research programs at Brookings, was established almost 15 years ago. During this time, Bruce Katz and his dedicated colleagues have accomplished that which many in Washington spend their lifetimes aspiring, but never succeed. They have created and defined their own policy field, metro policy, and in so doing, have changed the way people look at this country, its inherent assets, and its ability to compete around the world. In order for our country to maintain its economic preeminence and continue a tradition of cultivating innovation, metro policy must transition from being new to being the norm. With the country at an inflection point, that embrace will define success for decades to come. The work of Brookings Metro Program has become the essential reference for creating a critical roadmap to build a more productive, sustainable, and inclusive next economy for metropolitan America. Bruce Katz will give us some political context for today's discussions, but before I yield, just a few words of introduction. Bruce is director of the Metro Program and is the longest serving vice president at Brookings. He founded the Metro Program in 1996 after having served as Chief of Staff for HUD Secretary Henry Cisneros. Bruce is one of the nation's foremost thinkers on all matters metropolitan and has positioned Brookings to be the game changer in the field of urban studies, expanding the traditional scope from housing, community economic development, and planning-oriented area studies to one that is expansively yet pragmatically focused on building productive and sustainable metropolitan economies that are anchored in cities, surrounded by healthy suburbs, and supported by very strong state and federal partners. And with that, Bruce, I yield.